Hi, my name is Tyler Cheldy. I'm the irrigation agronomist at the Williston Research Extension Center. And uh, we're changing things up a little bit this year. This is the, the new field day for 2020, I guess, uh, in front of the camera. Um, I guess what I'm here to talk about today is just give you an update of the Neston Valley project. Um, since this is going to be uh, video, I'm sure if you're watching this, you maybe have never been to Nesson. Nesson Valley Research Site uh, was first started in 2005, um, or it started in 2005, purchased in 2003. Um, I've been there since 2008, so this will be uh, my 13th summer at the station. And basically, we've came a long ways in 13 years as far as the research we've done, the, the staff, the crew, um, currently there's three of us down there, full-time staff, uh, myself and two irrigation specialists, Justin Jacobs and Andrina Turnquist. And um, our primary focus is irrigation. Um, we do a lot with variety trial testing. We also do a number of things with uh, um, irrigation management practices, um, a lot of disease management because we've came to uh, Having, uh, under the irrigation, we're getting more and more disease down there. And so the plant pathologist, uh, Dr. Audrey Kalile from the center, she's got a number of trials. Um, we do a lot of collaboration with other scientists across the state, um, pathologists from NDSU on campus and also Carrington. Um, in those 13 years, uh, like I say, I've, I've the one that's been there 13 and people have came and gone. and. Um, it's been uh, it's been a great 13 years to say the least. Um, one of the primary the, some of the projects that we've worked on since I've started um, is water use efficiency, um, managing our water. We manage the amount of fertilizer we put on, the amount of seed we put in the ground. We manage uh, the chemicals we put on the crops. So why are we not managing the amount of water we put on? How can we be more efficient with that? and possibly minimize, reduce inputs. Um, and so this year we've changed it up. We've included soybeans and corn in this water use project. Primarily in the past, if you're familiar with Nesson, you would have seen uh, um, potatoes and uh, um, barley. Potato acres, there's only one grower in the area. Barley acres have uh, declined and we thought we had enough research with that. So we thought, let's try two other crops that are really taken uh, hold here in the area and so um, that'll be some preliminary data this year we've also uh, I've been working on a project since I started a tillage project where we're looking at the three tillage practices um, conventional minimal till and no till under irrigation um, I grew up on an irrigated farm just 30 minutes from Williston and we tilled the soil till it was black every fall and continued everybody in the valley does and we started this project um, in 2008 so 2009 was the first year data it deals with corn soybeans and barley in rotation and the three tillages and over the years we found that at least minimal tillage is as good as conventional tillage and a, a couple of the crops um, the no-till has done just as well as all three of or the other two and so why why are we tilling these soils? Um, what just trying to answer some questions, and it's kind of interesting now. Um, at home, my dad's 100% no-till under irrigation on flood irrigation, so he's he's converted to it just based off what we've seen here at uh, Nesson. And there's been another a number of other acres that have. The one thing that I'm finding now, and well, dealing with it yesterday down there was. I was out walking, and the crew was too, walking sugar beet fields with hose in our hand trying to get rid of roundup resistant weeds. So now that we're going to more no-till practices, we're really struggling with uh, some weed management. And so that's gonna be new research uh, in the coming future. How do we manage these weeds? That's the number one thing I see in the no-till. I mean, the conventional till, we always got rid of them because we worked the fields so we got rid of the weeds. Now that we are uh, no-tilling, 
and these herbicides getting resistance, how are we going to manage these weeds? So that's that's a big project going forward. Uh, we've got, I know at Nesson, Roundup Resistant Kochia. We've got Roundup Resistant Mare's Tail. We've got Roundup Resistant uh, Hawk's Beard when it gets to a certain stage. Um, so we're, we're really starting to see some weed issues. So that'll be research upcoming, um, and that's just things that have kind of developed in the last couple of years. So kind of excited, well, excited, but uh, trying to figure out what, how we can take care of some of these issues. Um, I guess other projects, um, and I think uh, the next speaker, or there'll be a speaker talking about uh, some of his projects from Nesson. Um, so I'll let him kind of talk about those. But this year, it's been kind of a crazy year. Um, like I say, this, the, this is field day now. I mean, stand in front of a camera and it's, uh, it's kind of dis discouraging because you put a lot of effort into these projects and stuff and it's always fun to show them off and have people come and you can talk and the interaction, um, that, that is one thing that interacting with farmers and producers is always fun, finding out their problems, getting input from them on what uh, they would like to see done. Over the years, uh, there's been a number of the projects that we've done at Nesson that have been just based off of farmers' interest. And that's, that's what this project is about, uh, trying to answer their questions. Yesterday, uh, I actually had a farmer show up while I was working on a linear and uh, want to talk about herbicides. And we just sat and visited about weeds and the issues and stuff that he's seeing and what we're seeing. 45 minutes we sat there and talked sitting along the linear. So uh, them interactions with farmers, that's, that's the part that I enjoy. Um, I guess to just sit and write a paper, that's never been my strong suit as far as just a publication. I want, I want like you look around and uh, what's going to what's going to benefit these producers um, and that's that's the primary focus of mine the vision of the Nesson project is how we can help irrigated producers um, I know we've been working on the water use efficiency for uh, can we increase acreage of irrigated production um, as everybody's experience in western North Dakota this year I don't not sure about the eastern part of the state but we're dry we're extremely dry and the irrigation is what's going to produce this year. Um, this is dry land field here. It's, you can tell, uh, I mean, there's going to be a crop, but it's not going to be, uh, are you going to, well, is it going to have any return to the farmer's pocket? I mean, that's where the water, being able to flip a switch or flood the field is pretty, uh, pretty important. And, uh, so if there's ever any questions, um, concerns, anybody watching this wants, uh, has any ideas for projects for the Nesson Valley Research Site, um, you can find me on the Williston Research Extension Center webpage, um, phone numbers there, email address. I'm always willing to look into projects, um, visit with people, um, do what I can. I would rather see myself fail down there so somebody else doesn't. Um, I guess I don't have questions in the video, so that's kind of nice this go-round, so thank you.